In this video, I'm gonna show you how to link menu items like these ones up here to specific sections inside of Elementor so it scrolls down to those areas on this single page. This is a one page website setup. As we scroll through, we see things happening and each of these buttons up here is gonna to link to a specific section down below so someone doesn't have to scroll, they can just jump back and forth. To do that, we have to first have a menu like we have up here. So let's go into the WordPress dashboard. I'll show you where to do that, where to create the menu. Most themes still for now have under appearance a menus option. It's really easy to create a menu in here. For these menu items, I created custom links. The home page is the real home page because it just stays where it is. So I just put home to in this case, click on that, click on add to menu and that's it right there. And for the other ones, I created custom links and I just put in a hashtag for the URL and then vision for example, for this one here, click on add to menu, and then we create our menu. I'm gonna remove that. So inside of here, I just have hashtags for all the URLs. We'll change that in a minute once we've put classes on our sections. Don't worry, classes aren't scary. They're pretty simple. Click on save menu once you've completed your menu. And if you're using a theme that uses the block editor or full site editing, you will not have the menus option under appearance, which makes this particular project a whole lot harder because when you create a menu, a navigation menu inside of the block editor, Elementor can't detect it. And so you can't use it in your Elementor designs. I have a workaround, a couple workarounds actually, outlined in a different video. I'll link to that in the card up above in the description down below to help you get menus into your Elementor design even when you're using block themes. Because this menu creation area is the past in WordPress and the new is the block theme on block editor. So this will be going away at some point, but there's still some workarounds to make this work. And hopefully Elementor will in the future pick up the navigation menus created in the block editor. As you can see up here, this is the menu we're just working on. And now we wanna connect this to classes inside of the Elementor page. So let's click on edit with Elementor, scroll down and determine where we want our first link to be. I'm gonna make it right here, bring your vision to life for the vision link. Then I'm gonna click on the six dots to get to the section or container settings, go to advanced. And here we have CSS ID and CSS classes. CSS IDs can only be used once for each unique ID. Classes can be used over and over again. So for this situation, we're gonna use classes and I'm gonna call this one vision. And that's gonna be this section of the page. Today's video is brought to you by Breakdance, the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It's easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features, including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you're just starting your WordPress journey or you're a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try it today and experience the Breakdance difference. Let's scroll down and find the portfolio section. This is it right here. Click on the six dots again, go to advanced. For ID, I'm gonna call this one portfolio. And then contact is gonna be the contact form down here. Right there. I call this one contact. And as you saw, as I was scrolling, there's other opportunities to add more menu items and more sections to link to that I'm just not gonna do in this tutorial, but you can link to whatever section you want. Click on publish to add those IDs to those sections. And then back in the menus, we wanna update these to have something more in the URL field. So we wanna keep this hashtag and then type in vision for the vision link. And that will take us to the vision section. For portfolio, wanna add portfolio. These have to be exactly matching the IDs that we just put into the page, otherwise they won't connect. And there we go. Let's preview this page. Let's not preview it, let's go to the real deal. Here's our page. And now when I click on vision, it takes us right down to the section or the container that we added that vision ID to. Portfolio goes down to portfolio, contact goes down to contact, and round around all day long for as many links as you want. And you can add IDs to other stuff too. It doesn't have to just be on containers. For example, anything I click on, go to advanced, I can add an ID anywhere to anything. Uh, not background images, that's much harder. You can do it with um, JavaScript, but why do it? Just have an ID for the section if you wanna to link to a background image for some reason. But you can have 
anything, anywhere you click on, go to advanced. They all have CSS IDs and that can all be added to your menu. And this also works for other pages. So if you wanted to link from this page to the vision section on a different page, that works too. And I've got a tutorial specifically about that that I'll link to in the card up above and the description down below if you wanna make that happen. And as for this video, we now have our menu system linking to sections throughout the page on the single page build using IDs, Elementor, and Anchor Links. If you found this video useful, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell to let me know. And then check out this playlist right up here, which is all about improving your Elementor skills with great tips, tricks, and hacks that you're not gonna find anywhere else. So make sure you check out that playlist. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.